In this video, I'll show you how to connect your chatbot to a Notion workspace. First, from the Integrations tab in your bot's dashboard, I'm going to navigate over to the Integration Hub. From over here, I'll be able to select the Notion integration and go ahead and install it to the bot that I'm working with today. Once that's installed successfully, we can return to our bot's dashboard and configure the integration. Next up, we'll need this authorization token. In order to get this, we'll have to create an internal integration on Notion. That's separate from the one we're using here in our BotPress dashboard. I'll navigate over to my Integrations tab in Notion, and I'll go ahead and create a new integration. I'll name this one BotPress, and I'm going to add this to my BotPress workspace. We can also add a logo, but I'll skip this step for now. I'm going to go ahead and submit this, and once that's created, we'll be able to show this internal integration secret and copy it to our clipboard. This is the authorization token that we're going to need later. While I'm still here, I'm going to navigate to the Capabilities tab of this integration, and I'm going to go ahead and give it the ability to read comments and insert comments. That's what I'm going to do for this demo. Now, let's return back to our BotPress dashboard, paste that authorization token here, and while I'm here, I'll go ahead and enable this integration. Then I'll save this configuration and we're good to go. Now, I need to give this integration permission to make changes across my workspace. I'll go ahead and select this parent page, which is going to give my bot permission to make changes across all of its child pages. I'm going to go ahead and click these three dots in the top right corner of this page, navigate to the bottom of this menu, and add a connection. Over here, we're able to see BotPress, which is the name of that integration we created earlier. I'm going to go ahead and click this, confirm that I want to give it access to all of these pages, and we're good to go. Now all the setup is done, so we can go ahead and configure our bot. Now, that's all the setup we need to do. For the purpose of this example, what I would like to do is take a user's comment, so the person chatting with my bot, and add it to a specific page in my Notion workspace. In this case, I've created a dedicated page just for testing this out. Once we're done setting up the Notion integration, you'll see some Notion-specific cards appear in the Execute section of the card tray. We'll use these in just a second, but first I want to collect that comment from my user. So over here, I'll take a raw input card and pop it over into my workflow. Here, I'm going to collect my comment from my user. So in this case, I'll say something like, what would you like to say? And I'll store that result in a variable called comment. Now, let's go ahead and grab one of those Notion cards. I'll select the add comment to page card and drag it over into this node after I've collected that comment. I'm going to go ahead and paste the page ID in this field over here. You can find the page ID in the URL of the page you'd like to add a comment to. I'll leave detailed instructions for this in the comment section of this video. Now in the comment body, I want to place that variable so that comment that we collected from our user. In this case, that's going to be workflow.comment. Nice. I'll go ahead and draw my path here, and what's going to happen is we'll collect a comment from my user and add it to that page. Pretty cool. Now that everything's been put together, let's test it out. For the purpose of this example, I'm going to be using the shareable widget, but this will work regardless of where your bot is deployed. Over here, I'll start a conversation with my bot by saying hi. And then remember, the first thing I'm going to do is get prompted for my comment. In this case, I'll just say something like, this is a testing comment. I'll send that message, we'll wait a few seconds, and then we should see that comment appear in our page on the right. There it is. Pretty cool. Happy bot building.